Remember what we were discussing in the last lab? We were discussing about the Procoprene technique. And I told you data is equal to five specific as a third class. So where you will get this print? Result and output. In the result or output window and the result we have window. So generally we can write the proc print run, but if I write the proc print run, it will you know give the print for most recently created data set. But if you want to print any data set, we should write the proc print data is equal to data set name. Remember what were the options we have discussed? Yes, sir. No OBS. So what what is the no yes, OBS sir. option will do? It suppress the OBS column. It suppresses printing of OBS column. But if you want to have an OBS instead of OBS, if you want to have some kind of string, what you should write, we can write, you know, OBS is equal to the character string. And remember, what are the other functions we have, other options that we have seen? We have seen, you know, double reading is equal to by default, we have a horizontal. Horizontal, what we can write, we can write heading is equal to vertical, isn't it? We can also write heading is equal to vertical. And uh, between the observations, we have, if you want to have a blank line, we should write a double option. But if you want to have black line after certain number of observations, uh, you should write uh, what we should write blank line is blank equal line. to the number. Yeah. And then we have seen, you know, what we have seen, even though we have a label, by default, proc print cannot print the label. You should write the label option. And when you're writing a label, if you want to split at a specific column, sir, now split is equal to you can add any special character. And then we have seen. You know, we have seen a uniform. If you want to print all the pages uniformly, now we can write the uniform. And then we have seen width is equal to, width is equal to, you can, by default, we have a minimum. But what you can write, you can write a uniform and you can also write as a full. full. And uh, and we have seen an option. An option prints a number of observations at the end of the table. And then we have seen the round option. It prints all the numerical variables to two decimals. These are the options we have seen. And remember that later what we have seen? We have seen statements. The first statement we have seen a VAT statement. What the VAT statement will do? Specify the variable space, that you space. want to have in the print. And then we have seen by. By statement is going to print into number of tables based on the by variable value. If I specify by sex, now we'll get the two tables in the output window, one for males and one for females. If I say by is you will get the one table for each age group. So you'll get one table for 11 years, then 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. So those are the tables that you will get it. And then what we have seen after that one, you know, we can write a statement called a page, page by statement. What the page by statement will do? It prints each table in a separate page. But I told you, if you wanted any statement, the page by statement, that will must be present, must by be present in statement by, by statement. statement. But if you wanted any variable in the by statement, what is the condition? Not so, the data sort that should be sorted, rearranged by the by variable. So you need to sort the data. And then we have it in the sum by statement. Now, what is the sum by statement will do? Prints totals for all numerical variables. Prints subtotals and grand totals for all the numerical variables of a data set based on the by variable value. So that means uh, by sex, uh, it will print age, height, and weight total. Even though you didn't ask for that one, since you specified the sum by sex, uh, now based on the sex, uh, so that means you will get uh, age total, height total, weight total for all the females uh, and the males. And again, if you wanted any variable in the sum statement, that variable must be present in the by statement. And then we have seen ID statement. If you specify any variable in the ID statement, that variable values will come in OBS position. And then we have seen the sum statement. You know, if you specify some, 
analysis variable for whichever variable you specify what that variable so you are going to get the grand total but if you add the sum statement along with the by statement now we'll get the sub totals based on the you know for a height and weight by six and then you'll get the grand total and then after that what are the other statement that we have seen we have seen where statement where statement is going to print only the selected observations only selected observations now if i write where a is greater than or equal to 13 we will get all the observations which contains a is greater than or equal to 13. then after that what we have seen we have seen you know mm -hmm. label statement label statement is going to specify the labels for all the numerical for all the variables so the problem here is even they have a label statement you have to specify the label option otherwise you won't get the label so label variable name is equal to now we are going to specify the label and then we can also write a format statement in the format statement now we can write you know formats for all the numerical variables whatever the formats you want to now we can specify that so these are the statements we have seen in the last class clear everybody and then first of all i'm creating a class data set in the work library data class i'm writing set to as self dot class if i execute the program what we are going to have we are going to have a class data set in the work library right now once you have a class data set i want to print this data set now i'm writing proc print data is equal to the data set name i want to print the class data set now i am writing var statement i want to print the name sex and i want to print is i want to print a height and the weight variables and then i am writing the run statement and i told you if you have a print in output window sorry result we window like this one and whatever the data that we have that is called as a column part or a data part and this is called as a header part and i told you this obs is called a obs header part sir so yes. screen is not visible, sir. Showing white color. That's it. the same problem for everybody. No, sir. No, sir. I have logged two right. times, sir. Even though right it's showing. Okay. So whatever the numbers one to nineteen that we have, that is called an OBS column. And if you have a grand total, that is called as a grand total. If you have a subtotal, that is called as a total. And I told you this is the you know different parts of the table and now in output in the result viewer window we can apply the different types of styles remember we started writing that style statement now what are the styles that we can apply now in the proc print statement i'm writing a style of for, for which part of the table you want to apply this style i want to apply the style for the data part so that means a style of data is equal to I told you we should always write the styles in the flower brackets or in the curly brackets. Now, within the flower brackets, what you can write now? We can write background is equal to. You can write any color. If it is a primary color, you can write the directly color name. Or otherwise, you can also write the codes, color codes. And I want to have a foreground color. I am writing foreground is equal to. I want to have a red color. What others that we can write? We can write a font underscore, font underscore size is equal to, I want to have a size four. Then I want to have font underscore face is equal to, I want to have a comic sans MS. Now within the quotations, I am writing, you know, comic sans MS. Then you can also font underscore weight is equal to, I want to have a bold. Select the program and execute it. Now in the result we have a window, background is going to be yellow color foreground is going to be red color font underscore size is equal to four font underscore you know what you call style is face is equal to comic sans ms and font underscore face is equal to or font underscore weight is equal to four now in the same way i want to apply the styles for header part if you want to apply the styles for header part what we should do now in the same proc print statement now what we should write now you should write the style now style of header header close the parenthesis is equal to again within the flower brackets whatever the cells you want you can now i want to apply the background i want to have a background green color i want to have a foreground color foreground is equal to i want to have a white color 
and then I want to have font underscore size is equal to six. Then I want to have font underscore face is equal to. I want to have, say, for example, you know, Algerian. Algerian. Then I want to have, you know, sorry, font underscore weight is equal to. I want to have in a bold. I'm writing that bold. Now, if I execute the program, now what we are going to have now for header part, we are going to have background green color, foreground white color. We have in a size six, and we applied Algerian, and we applied the bold. But uh, you know, before doing that one, I want to apply the label for the variables. Now, if you want to apply the label, what is the statement you should write? Label. The first variable name is equal to. I want to have it as an a, you know, student name. I'm writing, you know, student name. And the second variable is sex variable. I want to have it as a gender. Now I'm writing, say, for example, gender. The third variable is age variable. Age is equal to. I'm writing student is and then height is equal to i want to have a student height in centimeters and then weight is equal to i want to have a student weight i'm writing student weight in lbs now i'm writing lbs now i want to have in centimeters within the parentheses now i'm writing within the parentheses i want to have in lbs also within the parentheses i'm writing in you know, within the parentheses i want to have this into different lines now i'm going to specify like this one now, what should I write in the proc print statement now? First of all, you should add the label option. Then you should add the split is equal to. Now, within the quotations, you should specify the forward slash because I'm using forward slash to split the labels into different lines. Now, I will specify the same thing. Now, see, if I select the program and execute the program, if I select and execute the program, yes, we are going to have the labels like this one. Now, I want to apply styles for this OBS part. If you want to apply the style for that, what I should do? Now, you should write style of. Within the brackets, I should write OBS header is equal to. Now, within the front brackets, again, you can write background is equal to. I want to have a cyan color. Foreground is equal to I want to have a purple color. And I want to have font underscore size is equal to four. Font underscore, you know, face is equal to I want to have an area. And I'm writing font underscore weight is equal to bold. Now select that entire program and execute. Now can you see? I have a background same color, foreground purple color, and we have a size four. I want to have a size six. I'm going to specify font size six. But you know, I do not want to have an OBS. I want to have it an OBS is equal to, I want to have it as an AST number. Now select the program and execute it. Now this is how we are going to get. And in the same way, I want to have the styles here for you know observation number. If you want to have the styles for observation number, what we should do? We should write style of style of OBS column is equal to now within the flower brackets. Again, I'm going to write background is equal to background is equal to I want to have you know light blue. Foreground is equal to I want to have a red color. Font underscore size is equal to I want to have four. Then font underscore face is equal to I want to have an a Times New Roman. Times New Roman. Then I want to have font underscore weight is equal to old. Now Select the entire program and execute it. What is the problem that I have in there? Sir, wrong right hand sir. Within the brackets, OBD. OBS color. Now can you see we have a light color, we have a red color, size four, and then we have a type new Roman. We have a red. Now. 
I want to print height and weight total. If I want to print height and weight total, what is the statement you should write? Some statement. In the some statement, I am writing height. Now, if I execute this program, I am going to have a grand total for height and weight for all the 19 students. Can you see here? So for this row also, I want to have I want to apply the styles. Now, if you want to apply the styles for that, now you should write again one more style statement in the proc report. Now I'm writing style of grand total is equal to now within the flower brackets. Again, I'm going to specify background is equal to red, foreground is equal to white. I'm writing font underscore face is equal to I want to have a times new Roman. Then font underscore size is equal to I want to have a six. Then font underscore weight is equal to yes, I want to have a bold. Okay. Now see if I execute the program, now this is how I'm going to get it. Can you see for the grand total we have size? Now tell me if I specify by six, what will happen? Anybody? If I read the by six, total. total grand total for six and so you'll get two tables, female table and male table. But what is the condition if you want to enter by sex? Sort the list. You have to sort, sort the list. Prop sort data is equal to class data set by which variable by sex variable semicolon. Right. Now, if I execute the program, data will be get sorted and then by sex will get it. And you know that we are going to get two tables. One is a female table, another one is a male table. So now we have any subtotals. We have females height and weight total. We have males height and weight total. Then we have a grand total. Now, I want to apply the styles for, you know, females totals and males totals also. If you want to apply the style for that one, you know what we should write now? Now you should write a style of total. It's equal to, now within the flower brackets, now I'm going to specify background is equal to background is equal to i want to have an amazon deck i want to have background is equal to you know purple color we'll write silver color i'm writing foreground is equal to i want to have a purple color i'm writing font underscore size is equal to four font underscore face is equal to I want to have an area and then font underscore weight is equal to hold. Now select the program and execute it. Now in the background, we are going to have a several color. Can you see this one? And then foreground, we have a purple color and we have a size four. Size four is not enough. I will specify the size six. And this is how we are going to get it. You know, we have already applied label for sex variable. What is the label for sex variable that we have? What is the label that we have? Gender. But can you see here it is not printing as a gender? Now, if you want to print gender here, now in the proc print statement, now we should write a as option called some label. If I execute that program now by writing a sum label, now can you see what we have now? In top six, now we have an agenda. Now I want to apply the style for this part also. If you want to apply the style for that part also, now we should write in the proc print. Now we should write a style of, you know, by where. I think it's the by where only. Now we can flower brackets. Now I'm writing, you know, background is equal to background is equal to I want to have a pink color. We'll see whether it's working or not. No. 
do you have any suggestion? Font underscore weight, you no need to write bold within the quotation. Somewhere I have written bold. And what is another suggestion that we have? Either an OBS, OBS, no. You should not write by where. You should write somewhere. Is it so? No. Do you have any suggestion for that one? Yes, by label. Now we have background pink color, foreground. What is the color I had given? I didn't give any color. Foreground purple color. We have size six. We have size six. And then we have an aerial. Sorry, I will give that one also. Now I am writing foreground now. Foreground is equal to. What is the best color for the pink foreground? Maybe I want to give the blue color. Bond underscore size is equal to six. Bond underscore face is equal to Nigerian. And font underscore weight is equal to four. I am selecting this entire program and executing it. Now this is how we have. Now I want to have a total also. I am letting n. I am going to get the total. Now for that also I want to apply the style. If you want to apply the style for that also. I'm writing you know style of n is equal to within the flower brackets. I'm writing background is equal to magenta. And you see whatever that n position that we have for that we have a magenta color. Now again, we can apply the other things also. Foreground is equal to I want to have an orange color. Font underscore size is equal to six. Font underscore, you know, weight is equal to bold. Now select that entire program and execute it. Now this is how we are going to get it. Clear everybody? Now, I want to export this report onto my desktop as HTML file. Okay, in future, at the end of the basis, we are going to have a concept called ODS. But in today's class, I will tell you how to export this into onto your desktop as an HTML file. Now, whichever report that you want to export onto the desktop, now we should write before the processor, before the programming code, you should write a concept called ODS. By the way, ODS means output delivery system. Then what format, file format that you want to export? I want to export as an HTML. Then you should write the file is equal to file reference. Do you know how to create a file reference, by the way? a file name file reference name whatever the name you want you can write it now go to the desktop go to any file or any folder give a right click go to properties get the location now go to the program and then you should give the path and a backward slash i want to have it as a class dot html and by the way, it is a location. You should write that entire location 
Well, this is the quotation. And this is the file shortcut we create. I created a file shortcut for which file? Class.html. Now, you should write ODS, HTML. Now, file is equal to now Srini. Now, you should have, you should have your proc, proc print processor. And after the run statement, you should have ODS, HTML close. Do not worry about the ODS concept. I will explain the ODS concept as in a last topic. Now, if I execute this from, from the ODS starting to ODS ending, now if I execute this program, now on my desktop, I am going to have, can you see here? I have a class HTML file. Now, if you open this one, now this HTML will be get opened on your desktop like this one. Clear this one, everybody? Is this clear? No. You know, when I write the style statement in the proc print statement, how the styles are applying? Now, all these styles are applying for entire table. But that is not my requirement now. What I want to do, I want to apply the styles for individual variables. I want to apply different style for weight variable, another style for height variable. So based on that variables, I want to apply the style. Now, if you want to apply the styles by variable, now you should write like this one, proc print, data is equal to class data set, where name, sex is height and weight. Now, first of all, I will execute the program up to this point. You know, you are going to get just a normal print like this one. We will get a report like this one. Now, I want to apply this style for only for weight variable. I want to apply the style for only for weight variable. You know, in the Mundu, the styles and application good to the entire header part, header entire part, data part, OBS part, OBS car part, grand total, total, like that. But I want to apply style for only for weight variable. If you want to apply style for a specific variable, now we should have the same style statement in the where statement. Now, in the where, we have all the variables, and then after the last variable, keep a forward slash. Now we should write a style is equal to now within the flower brackets. Now we can specify, you know, background is equal to pink. Now, if I write in this way, now can you see it is going to get applied for only weight variable? Is it applying for only for weight variable or for entire table? It is applying for entire table, right? But I want to have for only pink. Now, if you want to apply for only for weight variable, you know, but if I write a style like this one, this style statement is executing for all the variables of the web statement. Oh, but I want to apply for only weight variable. You know what we should do? Up to weight, write one var statement. For only weight variable, you should write the one more var statement. That means in the proc print procedure, we can write a multiple var statements. Now, if I execute the program, now this is how I'm going to get it. Now, can you see? I'm getting style for only weight variable. But in the weight variable, I'm getting the style for both header part and the data part. But I want to apply for only for header part. If you want to apply for only header part, you know what we should do? Where weight variable forward slash. Now we should try style of sorry style of header is equal to and within the flower brackets i'm writing background is equal to pink now tell me for which part it is applying for the style it is applying for only header part of weight variable i understand this one now i want to apply that labels also i'm writing here you know label state label option and I'm writing split is equal to now forward slash. Now it is going to apply the label. 
Now, I want to apply the styles for data part now. In the same rare weight, now what I'm going to write now, I am going to specify, you know, style of data is equal to, now within the flower brackets, now what I'm going to do, I am going to specify background is equal to, you know, light blue. Now select the program and execute it. Now the data part, the background is going to be light blue color. In the same way, in the background, I want to have pink. Now I want to have foreground purple color. I'm writing the foreground purple color. What other thing that you can apply now? We can apply font yes. underscore yes. You know, face is equal to, I want to have, you know, area. Font underscore size is equal to, I want to have an S6. Font underscore weight is equal to I I want to have a bold. In the same way, here also I want to apply. I'm writing foreground is equal to light blue. I want to have in you know, a foreground magenta color. Then I want to have a font underscore font underscore. Face is equal to, I want to have a Times New Roman. Times New Roman. I want to have font underscore. Weight is equal to bold. I want to have font underscore size is equal to six. Four. Data part. Now select this entire program and execute the program. Now we are going to have a style like this one. Understand? Now, I want to apply the style for sex variable. Where we have the sex variable? Nice. In the wrap statement I have here. But you cannot write the forward slash here. Now, but if I write a forward slash here and if I apply the style, so what will happen now? For all variables, it will apply. It will apply for the name, sex, age, height, age, and height, right? But I want to apply for only sex. Well, you know what we should do? In the scenario, you should have up to name one var statement for only var statement. Sex variable should have one var statement, and you should write a var statement, you know, another var statement for all the variables. Now, what I'm going to do. Now I'm copying this wrap statement. Now I'm writing here. But I want to have a different background color. I want to have background orange color. Here I want to have background olive color. And foreground, I want to have, you know, blue color. Select the program and execute the program. Or can you see? This is how we are going to have. In this way, you can apply styles for each variable. Understand this one? Can you do this one? Can you apply the styles for each variable? Yes, sir. You can do that. And the next one is, you know, I am writing proc print data is equal to sas help dot class. Where I want to print name variable, sex variable, age variable, height variable. I want to print the weight variable. Okay. Now, if I execute the program, this is how I'm going to get the print. You know what I want to do now? I want to apply the styles based on the condition. If the gender is female, I want to have one kind of style. If the gender is male, I want to have different kinds of style. I'll tell you one thing. If the gender is female, I want to have background red color. If the gender value is male, I want to have background green color. So that means I want to apply the styles based on the condition. Now, how we can write the condition now? 
Can you be a diff condition in proc print? No. You can write only base statement. You cannot write the you know, if condition. Then how to apply? Now to apply the styles, I'm going to write a user defined format. Tell me how to create a user defined format. Format. Proc format. Value. I'm going to create a format for the sex variable. I'm writing you know sex color. I'm writing sex color. If the sex value is capital F. What I want to have? I want to have a red, red color. color. If the sex value is M, I want to have? I want to have a green, green color. Now write the statement. Now select the program and execute it. I am going to have a user defined format. Now I want to apply the format. How to apply the format? Hmm. How to apply the format? Format. Format. Six. Where, for which value you want to apply? Six. Six. What is the format? Six. Now I'm selecting the program, executing it. Can you see how it is getting applied? Where we have a female, we are getting at an a red. Where we have a male, we have an a green. Is this what we want to? No, sir. No. I do not want to have a red or a green. I want to have a red color or a green color. But no, since I'm writing F is equal to red, M is equal to green, we are getting it that way. But I should not write like this one. I want to apply this for the same process, the same user defined format. You should apply style. in style. How to apply in the style? Now, up to name, I'm writing one var statement. For only sex, I'm writing one more var statement. For the remaining variables, I'm writing a different var statement. Now, var sex, forward slash. Now, the style of data. Close the parenthesis is equal to now within the flower brackets. Now I'm writing background is equal to what is that format we created? Dollar six okay. uh, Now the same format if we apply in the style statement, now it will be get resolved as in a colors. Can you see? Yes, sir. Now, but if you apply the same format in the foreground, you know what will happen if you apply in the foreground? The letters color. Data. The letters, data part is going to get changed. And in the same way, I want to create one more format. Now I'm writing the value statement. I want to have format name, say for example, age group. If that age is from 11 to 12, you know, I want to have 11 to 12, I want to have a pink color. Okay. If age is from 13 to 14, I want to have a cyan color. Age is from 15 to 16, I want to have a lime color. I want to apply for age variable. Now is forward slash style of data close the parenthesis is equal to within the flower brackets. Now I'm going to specify background is equal to what is that we have created age grp dot. Now I'm writing remaining variables in another batch statement. And of course, here also I want to apply the background only. I'm writing background. Now we execute the program. Now this is how it is not applying for age variable. You can execute this one. Oh, this is how it is okay. Can you see that one? Clear everybody. Clear everyone? Yes, sir. 
So these are the styles and the different things that we have in property Now. Sir. Yes. Sir, what is the use of this uh, giving coloring? How may it will help? You know, when you are when you're reporting your analysis, Raju, can you keep your video off? You know, when you're submitting your report, your report should be very clean and very attractive, and everybody should be able to understand your report. By color, giving the color indications, so you will represent the data with the different colors so that whoever analyzing that interpreting the report, they can easily interpret your report. Because when you are going to submit your report to your client, your client may not know, obviously you will not know about SAS and anything. All you want to have is a proper report. By seeing the report, you could be able to understand. So by using different kinds of styles, we are going to represent our data with a different kinds of styles so that uh, the third person can easily understand the report. Understand? Yeah, okay, sir. Now, so for example, I'm taking this one as my report. You know, when I'm executing the report, I'm getting the report like this one. If the report is like this one, nobody can understand what is this report until unless uh, if you have an until unless you have the proper headings. Okay. So that means when we are submitting or exporting and we are presenting your report to your client, what we should have? Along with that report, we should have proper. What you should have? We should have a proper headings. Now I'm writing where name, sex is, height, and weight. I'll keep a semicolon. I'll write the room statement. Yes, I'm getting the report like this one, just a black and white report. But I want to have an A headings on the top of my table and at the bottom of the table also, I want to have some headings. Now, if you want to have headings on the top of the table, we use a global option called title. If you read the titles, these titles will come before the table. But if you want to have a titles after the table, we use a global statement called footnote. So titles are titles will come before the table, footnotes will come after the table. Okay, first we'll see with the title. Now, how to write the title? You should write a keyword called title and you should give at least one space. Now, whatever the heading you want to have, you should write that heading within the single or double inverted quotations. Now, here between the quotations, uh, now we can write your title. I want to have, so for example, student demographic report. I am writing student demographic report like this one. And finally, you should keep a equal. Now, if you select the program and execute the program, now we are going to have a title. Now, can you see what the title I'm having? Student demographic report. By seeing this table title, by reading the table, tab, this title, anybody can understand what is this report is about. Understand? This is called title. This is how we are going to write the title. And by the way, these titles are examples for global statements. You know what you mean by global statement? So for example, after some time, I'm writing a print for another data set, rock print. I'm writing data is equal to SAS help dot by. Now keep a semicolon right term statement. Now, whatever the title that I created for the class data set, now the same title will also come for, for the next report. Because a title is a global statement. Once you create it, until you change the title or until you close the session, we are going to have the same title. Because a title is a global statement. You know what you mean by global? You, you mean by global is means like and you can write anywhere in the program. And once you created that one, it is going to affect the entire session. 
until you close the session or you change that again. Okay, now we'll see that one, how to change that one later. If I do the program, yes, I'm going to get the title, Student Demographic Report. I want to have one more title. If you want to have one more title, now we should write the title. But uh, I'm writing this is also title, right? But when you want to, if you want to write the more than one title, then the first one you should write the title one, and the second one you should write title two. Now the title two, now within the single double quotation, so now I'm going to specify, say for example, same is, you know, I'm writing, same is software technologies. SME column. Now, if I execute the program, now can you see? You will get the two titles. In this way, you can write up to 10 titles. You can write up to 10 titles. Now, I want to write one more title. Now, I'm writing title three. Now, within a single a double quotations, I want to have this, say, for example, you know. And this is, a, I want to have as a third title. Now select it and execute it, and this is how we are going to get. Understand this one? But you know, what color and what, how we are getting the titles, the titles are you know, by default blue color, and we are getting in this size, but I want to have different way. Now, can we explain this concept in tomorrow's class? Can we continue in tomorrow's class? Okay. Continue tomorrow. Sir, please can you share the code in the chat box? Please. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, then see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, sir.